Judges four four fourteen, yes, four fourteen. And Deborah said to Barak, Up for this day in which the Lord has given Sisera into your hand, does not the Lord go out before you? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor with 10,000 men following him. The fact is, the Lord was planning on giving him the day, and he would, but that didn't mean he ain't, didn't have to get up and fight. It just meant in the fight he'd have the victory. Okay. <clears throat> So we're in Second Chronicle, uh, Second Corinthians now. I'll tell you where. Ten, one, and two. Okay. Ten, one, and two. And I, Paul, myself urge you by the Christ's gentleness and reasonableness, I who face to face are, am a but nobody among you, <coughs> but at a distance and so hearted towards you. Now this isn't saying they didn't know who Paul was, because clearly they did. This isn't saying, well... Paul wasn't involved in their life because he wouldn't be writing that letter to them if he wasn't. What this is saying is Paul had to be rough with them through the letters because it was a rebuke. And it isn't saying Paul wouldn't have done that if when he came to them if they didn't need it. What it's saying is Paul did not want to have to rebuke them when he came to them. He wanted that fellowship with them instead. But Paul would do what he needed to. Um, verse 2 but I beg that I may not at close quarters be stout with that assurance with which I reckon on venturing against some those who reckon us as walking in the way of the flesh so what it's saying is Paul will give would give correction Paul would do what Paul needs to do to reach the people but Paul prefers to have fellowship with them. Paul prefers for there to be peace. But Paul's going to do what honors Christ. 